Hey everybody, it's Ivy and today I'm going to show you how I installed this unit. Now this unit is unique. I've never had a wig like this before. This is a wig with the already made part in it. It's not a lace closure. This is a very unique type of wig and you guys, I'm so excited to show you how I installed it, how easy it was to install it. The hair is, y'all, it's, it's gorgeous. Like this wig is so cute this is definitely going into um my stash of wigs today my beautiful hair is from kyara hair i hope i'm pronouncing it right i will post the name right here um you guys they sent me this gorgeous wig and i love it so much like tell me it's not cute it's so cute the color is perfect on me I've been like really into colors right now. So a lot of the videos I'm gonna be giving you guys are color because spring is approaching, okay? And I know I know it's still winter, but spring is approaching and like it's time to get with it. Like this is my favorite season for hair, spring and summer. So let's get with it. If you guys wanna see how I installed this beautiful wig, keep on watching. Right here I have on my wig grip and um it's a little bit of uh powder right there on it nothing serious but i like the whip grip because it helps my hair stay in place and it doesn't slip and slide um my hair is in some old straight backs this unit is from kyra hair and i've never had a unit like this this is what i think you would call like a, a um uh i don't know what <laughs> i don't know what you would call this but the inside of the cap is made normal with adjustable bands and all of that stuff. I don't think I've ever had a unit with a um, pre-made part. So I didn't pluck this, didn't bleach the knots or anything like that. I really like this unit because it's going to be easy. All I got to do is put some, um, some of my um, knot sealer right here and we're going to be good to go. We're going to go in with our Perfect Line um, Lace Wig Grid Concealer. And I have this in the shade Mitch. So this is Mitch. And as you guys can see, it's just like my skin tone. And um, what I'm going to do is just uh, roll some up really good. And to use this product, what you want to do is go in and heat up the product with a blow dryer. And I'm just going to um, heat this up for about 30 seconds until it start looking um, shiny. So hopefully you guys can see that it's now a gloss on the product and you just wanna paint this directly on your knots. I'm gonna literally do a one, like a thin coat. I'm not gonna do too much of it cause you don't need too much of this product. That is just enough. So as you guys can see, those knots are hitting pretty good for it not to be bleached or anything like that. Our next step is to go ahead and install the unit. So um, this is what the unit looks like. this really pretty red color and what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just uh, pin the hair back and we're just gonna go in and pluck right here just so everything can look a little bit more natural okay you guys so as you can see this is how the lace looks right now so what I'm gonna do is take my finger and just part off a little bit of the hair parts off <laughs> I don't know what I said parts off a little bit of the hair just like this and then we're just going to uh pluck really simple you can also um open your part up a little bit and you can just do that by running the the um tweezer down the part and opening and closing it just so you don't remove too much hair but just a little bit just so it opens up so it's not so um fake looking okay that looks pretty good and i'm just going to complete the other side and then we're going to um tack this unit down and i'm just going to be using uh some um spray to hold this one in place we're not gluing it 
Although if you did want to glue a unit like this, it might actually last a long time, you guys. Since it's only this little spot to glue, this honestly might be a really good unit to glue down. Because it's really low maintenance because it's not a large area to work with. And I'm just going to open up my part over here as well. And I'm really funny <laughs> about my middle parts. Like they have to look thinned out enough or I'm going to freak out. So I think that looks good. I don't want to pluck too much and it starts looking bald. <laughs> so this hair is giving poison ivy, right? <laughs> the color. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and flip this back. This is a really easy install, you guys. Like... But that's what we want. This this year I said I was going to work on more realistic hair, more easy alternatives, easy methods, more affordable methods, um, just more options when it comes to hair because everybody is in a stylist and everybody don't want to go to one, okay? So, um, yeah, I'm going to... So we're going to tack this unit down using our EBN Wonder Lace Adhesive Spray. So this is new. Okay, I've never seen this before. Um, I'm guessing it works the same way. Um, it says sweat resistant, so let me spray this out first. Okay, so it sprays out like, oh, I didn't mean to do that. The little sprayer is really sensitive. And I'm not going to spray a lot. This is talking about sweat resistant. It might be a little strong. So, I just sprayed a really thin amount of that down. And I'm going to take my dryer. We're going to take our dryer and just melt everything down. Okay, you guys. So, now you want to go in with your scissors and just cut off. That remaining lace I'm just pulling my lace up as I cut I actually could remove a little bit more from this side And to make sure there's no line of demarcation, I just spray a little bit of that hairspray back on my finger. And then I like to just wipe it across. And I do this just so the edges and everything that didn't stick could go ahead and stick. And I take a rat tail and I just press it just to make sure everything is in place. Okay really really simple and easy um to install and now i'm just ooh. <laughs> now i'm gonna work on my baby hair and i would suggest not to skip this step for this type of unit because i really would not skip baby hair for this type of unit because baby hair is going to add to the um realistic look of it and right now i'm just you know taking out a little bit more hair where I see fit and I am going to apply some foundation um, in the areas I'm going to be using the edge brush and a little bit of eco styler gel and we're just going to use this to smooth the baby hairs into place and the reason I'm using gel is because um, I find that it doesn't make the um, when you use hairspray to melt your lace i find that using the eco styler doesn't make it lift for whatever reason when i use other gels it makes it lift so eco style is the only one that doesn't for me and the baby hairs um you know that's all uh, left up to you how you want to do it or even if you want them or not but like i said i do recommend baby hair on a unit like this because 
I just feel like it adds a more realistic look to it. Y'all, I did not know I was gonna like this hair. Like, at all. <laughs> I really love the color on this wig. It's a beautiful color. And this is just uh, water and conditioner in here. It might just be, no, it's just water in here. So I'm just spraying it down with water. Y'all saw how quick it was to install this, like, Super easy. I'm gonna take my brush and just brush it all out. This hair doesn't have a super high density, but it's not thin either. It's like the perfect density for me, when I have curly hair, I don't like a whole lot of hair on the cap anyway because it just be giving too much. So this is like the perfect amount of hair for me, okay? So I'm just spraying it, giving it a nice spray. The hair is pretty soft, you guys. Like, you really don't need a lot. The color is so pretty, it's like the perfect red y'all like it is gorgeous so now i'm gonna apply a little bit of conditioner just sparingly like and i am getting some shedding i always gotta let you guys know if i get a little shedding or something i am getting shedding and but it's not too bad it's like it's kind of what you expect for curly hair like curly hair always shedding y'all so what we're gonna do is let's see i'm gonna cut it about i don't want to cut too much i'll say like right here the reason i always cut my curly hair is because i honestly it just feels better it just it feels better it looks better it is better when i cut it Okay, so we just cut it. I'm gonna cut it right here. I'm gonna go back in with some water. I'm gonna comb through it again and just use my brush to help like define the curls. See? I'm just defining the curls, really easy, really simple. And the dryer I'm using is my Koska. And this is the diffuser, and we're just gonna diffuse for a few minutes. As you guys can see, I need to add some powder in the lace. So that's what I'm doing. So I just got through adding my, um, powder foundation to the lace. Y'all, this is so pretty. I cannot, I, I cannot, like, the color looks so good on my skin. This is definitely a um, put on and go wig. It doesn't require a lot of work at all. It's just, it's gorgeous, you guys. It is so cute, oh my God. Kyra, Kyra, <laughs> I can't really pronounce the name of the company, but they did their thing. Like, their wig is really nice. I don't believe I worked with them before. I can't remember if I did. It might have been one time. I'm going to come up so you guys can see more of this texture. So yeah, you guys, this is pretty much the completed result. Um, below will be all the details about the hair. Everything will be linked below. Let me know in the comment section if you like this hair. Um, also let me know some other colors you might want to see me try out. Or if you want to see and learn how to do certain colors, definitely comment that below. I'm trying to um, get together some interesting tutorials for you guys. But yeah, you guys, Kyra Hair is linked below. Thanks again for watching, and I will talk to you guys in the next video.